Excellent. Welcome to our energy webinar and how to master your mind by transforming energy through dowsing. So I'll have myself on for a while. I hope you can all see me and hope everyone's going well. Good to see a lot of you here. So let's get on to this today. I've been looking forward to this class. So anyone else been looking forward to learning about this or been following our post pretty carefully? Excellent. That's great. So one of the best things I ever did in my life was learning how to douse and do energy reading. So one of the best things I did was just learning how to do this and how to master energy and how to use it in all areas of my life. Learning how to actually do this can do everything from save you from going to the doctor, from seeing financial, anything like that. Um, getting clear accuracy on investment. I recently used this in actually how to determine the timing to go into a cryptocurrency. I've been noticing more and more, it seems to work really accurately. I would love to say I'll always listen. I don't always. Sometimes my energy reading gives me a mixed reading. I still go in and then I smile and realize why. Other times I do an energy reading and get a clear go ahead and I hold back and then I later on regret it. So energy really doesn't necessarily suggest to you that it's going to give you, make your life perfect, but it will give you more accuracy. And that's been the biggest thing I found with it. So Kathy just says that the link sent to us by email doesn't work. Um, so it's interesting. A lot of people are finding this problem. So anyone else have that problem, by the way, with the link? Okay. Okay, Lexi did as well, I know, but um, hmm, okay, so we're gonna have to check. So it seems that everyone's having the same, um, the same problem. So, okay, so you're gonna need to, um, okay, everyone's having the same problem, Edward. So it's, look, it's important to find out what went wrong with this one and get the system fine tuned so we don't get this happening because my guess is why we've got less people on than, than plan to be so maybe just keep an eye on support on the Facebook Messenger. So what you learn is that everything around you is energy and how is a hidden power within you to transform and shift any energy. So that's the first thing. You learn how to accurately uh, read on energy reading even to the exact percentage to gain knowledge from your higher self for any business or investment situation. And I mean that. Now, keep in mind, again, it does take training, it does take practice, but I have found extraordinary accuracy when I've been doing this. I've been using it lately on health stuff. I, I have some of my friends who actually have a health issue going on. They ask me to do that for them, and I tune in and get an answer for them. So I found I do it with my own health now very accurately. It saved me a lot of money and heartache with health problems and going to the, um, the wrong people for help. I've doused them and doused their effectiveness. I was going to go, I, I went and saw a particular person, had a session with him, doused it afterwards, and it just kept showing me it wasn't going to work. So I didn't follow up. And the next day I led on to a much better system and turned out what the guy recommended to me was totally wrong. So you can get very accurate knowledge from this. And negative experiences around money, business and investment losses cause severe fractures to your energy field and how you can repair them. That's the other thing about it as well, you will learn. How to set yourself up for success to stop negative experiences consistently attracting to you in your health, finances, and relationship. So that's the other thing too. You also get a pretty good idea where, where someone's at or where things are at. And my only challenge I've had from this is I find that my accuracy in all areas of my life in this has got better and better and better. And sometimes I don't like the answers I actually get. And because that's the biggest challenge of energy reading too. Sometimes you do it because you want to hear a certain outcome or you want to get confirmation. So one of the other secrets of energy reading and what you will learn is how to stop this happening to you, how to read it, but also how to stay detached enough so that it works for you. Because energy reading only works very well if you're attached. A very extreme example is that let's just say but you've met someone and decide that you want to get married to this person and you've got a real desire and it's what drives everything about you. 
and you start asking your pendulum or doing dowsing as to, you know, will I get married to this person? There's a chance you may well manipulate your pendulum to tell you what you want to believe. And I've seen that happen before. So learning to be detached is the other secret to it as well. So how to clear any hidden trauma and blockages based on these experiences from your field permanently to help you actually achieve your goals. The power of dowsing with pendulums and bobbers and how you can use the art of divination to answer any question about your business health and relationship to have a happier, smoother and more successful path. So that's the other good thing too. So energy reading actually comes from the art of what's called divination. It was an ancient art of being able to tune in with the earth, tune in with the energy field of the unconscious mind and actually use everything from a pendulum to a bobber which is what I use a lot these days, to even your own left hand, which is what one of my mentors uses, even to just your own pure, what's called using your body as like a pendulum. And I've learned to do that one over the years as well. So it's really quite a lot of fun. And it's really quite effective too, once you master on how to do this. So it's not only fun, it really is effective and does get you quite extraordinary results when you choose to master it and learn it and can make your life a heck of a lot easier. So basically, I'll be giving those who stay to the end an opportunity to further your learning about energy reading to greatly increase success in all areas of your life, including a class with Raymond, who's agreed to come into our course when we run it and actually do a class, which I'm pretty wrapped about, as he's not been the easiest person to get to agree to do that kind of stuff. So the biggest thing is we will be making an offer on the webinar at the end, but We'll be coming to the end and taking questions and then giving you an opportunity whether to stay on the webinar or whether you wish to leave when it comes time for the office. So, main, so for now, we're going to be teaching and showing you the tools and techniques and how it works. And then at the end, for those who want to continue your learning, opening a door for you. Okay, so does this sound like you? You keep ending up in toxic relationships or having constant sickness illness, accidents and misfortune, and just don't have any idea what, um, why this keeps happening to you. So, yep, if that, if that feels like you, just type a Y. I can remember I used to have constant accidents and sickness and toxic relationships myself. And I got to the point where I literally thought I had a big fat label written on my head, um, drawing it to me, and it turned out I really just about did. So, no one willing to admit to this one, okay. Um, you experience anxiety and find it hard to focus, having voices in your head telling you terrible things, even at times feeling a sense of dread which you can't seem to control. Anyone experience that one? I find that one's a lot more common. I, I know so many of my close friends who can relate to this one. Yep, a few people here now um, <laughs> relating to this one. Yep, yeah, it's not fun. So, yes. Someone else said you've improved at the last five years. Um, no doubt you've changed your intention the last five years, is my guess. Um, I can't read who the name of the person is, sorry. For some reason, the chat's not letting me see the comment, who's actually put this comment. I used to get sick and bad things happen. So you're not generating the amount of money you want in your job, business or investments, and just don't feel a strong connection to your higher self in that. If that's you to say yes. Or you may even be someone here who's actually, money is not actually your problem. You're making good money, but you're just finding you've had tax problems, you've had lawsuits or problems with the government. That was one of the reasons I first got into this myself. I'm sure some of you can relate to this one. You may even have attracted scams, losses and bad experiences of your money and want to learn to read energy to stop these patterns. Or you're doing well financially and you're well on your path, but you're keen to master your mind and intuition to improve accuracy of just working out the most profitable path for you. In other words, you're on a spiritual journey. You're doing pretty well at the moment, but you just want to improve your overall accuracy. But to you, type a Y. Yep, a few people here. Great. Both, Christine. Great. 
Yeah, a bit of both. Generally, you'll find one, two, or three of these things can all relate to you. So the way to think of it is like a river. If you dive into a flowing river, the way you this is the best way to think of energy reading, and do nothing, you will go with the tide. The only way to stop yourself flowing with is to be actively swimming against the tide. In a way, that's what energy reading is doing. Because when you're living in a world of mass consciousness, you're surrounded by people, family, friends, individuals, business colleagues, stuff like that, you're naturally going to go um, against, you naturally will go with the tide. So if you just simply, if you passively just sat there, just went on with your life and did nothing at all other than just go with life, you would find you would eventually be led to with the direction of the mass consciousness. That's one of the things at the moment when you see what's going on in the world, that's not a particularly pleasant scenario. And I'm sure we would all agree because the current mass consciousness tide is heading towards a world vaccination program and a great economic financial reset. So that's where the tide is heading and energy reading can change a lot of that as well. So, so the thing is to actually learn. So the main thing with energy reading, and Jamie says, you know, isn't it about taking the natural path, going with the flow? Well, there's a context to that, Jamie. I mean, yes, life is meant to move with a flow, but when you're in your path and purpose, the reality is, for example, if you stopped exercising tomorrow and did no exercise whatsoever, you ate, you didn't, and you didn't do any kind of fitness work, your muscles would gradually get weaker and get weaker. They wouldn't stay the same. The way you keep your muscles is by moving them, by exercising them, by strengthening them by actually working them. Equally, if you naturally tend to just let your mind drift along, your mind will be led in the direction of the flow around you. If you're fortunate enough to be around people who are very prosperous minded and confidence minded, you can get caught up in their energy. And that is why great masters like Jesus and others had such an impact because their powerful energy and presence was able to lift the consciousness of others around them. But the point is, is that Generally, things stagnate, they don't stay the same. They either stagnate or they increase depending on what you do. Businesses don't miraculously, for example, suddenly start making money. They start making money as you are doing active work on a constant basis to keep momentum. That makes sense. So energy reading is the same. You're learning to take control over your mind and become self-empowered. I remember Raymond Gray saying to, saying to us in our workshop, the biggest thing I'm teaching you is to become your own master. He said, but you become self-empowered. You don't need anything outside yourself anymore. I found that you don't even need necessarily, I find now that doctors and health professionals, although I still see them, I'm generally getting pretty good guidance myself as to what I need. So when we choose, for example, to do nothing, we get swept up in the tide of the mass consciousness. I know for me, and I don't know about anyone else here, but... For me to step out in business and start doing well, I had to step away from all my family's way of thinking and even away from a lot of my business colleagues who I was around at the time. Can anyone else relate to that? I mean, to make a very major shift. Yeah, Nick can relate to that. Anyone else? Yeah, Jamie can, Christine can, yeah. So a number of people can, Andy. You do have to make that kind of step where you move through and you move beyond. So that's what tends to happen. So even family become toxic, Kaylin, yes. Um, yeah, so this is what happens. When you start to do energy reading, you have to go against the tide. And this is the whole nature of it. For example, let's say you're looking to heal someone who's actually sick. Now, in their perception, they're sick. That's their belief system. When you study the science, for example, behind what Jesus and great yogis were able to do, they were able to change the perception of the people they work with to see themselves as healed by their huge faith and their huge consciousness power. They found that even that with health practitioners who are very good, it's just their own belief in what they're doing and you subconsciously feel their belief and you take that on board. So the question is, how can you take this and actually use this energy to actually transform it and use it for good. And that's the whole purpose of self-empowerment and energy. It's you take control of your energy. So what does that mean exactly? So things like being masked in. Right now, I can remember when they locked down West Australia about a month ago for a couple of weeks. The tide of popular opinion was people were all walking around wearing masks. Some because they thought they should be wearing their masks 
because of because it will keep them safe. Some were doing it just because they were afraid of the government, um, but they didn't want to do it, but they were afraid of the government. The point was the tide of popular opinion at the time was that you or the energy was to either was to wear the mask either because to keep your health safe or just because you didn't want to get in trouble with the police or have people looking at you. And I know we were talking about this in one of our workshops. To actually actively not wear a mask, for example, requires you to change the energy and stand your ground. And this is what I was doing myself when that was happening. So that's an example of shifting the energy of a situation. And then by me doing that, I noticed it empowered others around me to do the same thing. So harsh lockdowns, coercive mandatory vaccines. You can see again, all this is just a tide of energy. And the biggest danger that I see is not so much what the governments are doing, it's the mass consciousness of what people are believing. People everywhere on Facebook and everywhere are talking about it. They're terrified. They're either saying you should get it or... People are just saying, we don't want this, but it will inevitably happen. The most powerful form of manifestation or is to actually focus on what you don't want and do it with fear. So right now, that's my biggest concern and one of the reasons I do this kind of work. I'm less concerned about the government as I am about the consciousness of the people in the environments and the worlds and the cities and the city that I'm living in. Because in that place, if people's fear is strong enough and keep talking about what they don't want, and keep working around and doing all that, they actually give it power. So this is how energy reading works. You, you get what you focus on. Raymond Grace and his tips on energy reading, which he, sends out, which he sent out in an email, one of the things he says, don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you want. Focus on the thing you want to manifest for your life. So you show me someone who's had toxic relationships. I'll show you someone who focuses on not having a toxic relationship. Show me someone who has investment losses. I'll show you someone who focuses on not losing money. So, you, yeah, Kathy makes so much sense. Yeah, no, it does. It's Neville, Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy. They all they all talk about this. All the great teachers and, and the yogis. Um, if you're talking, I, I used to always focus on not getting rejected. <laughs> so I tended to get rejected um, rather than just focusing on acceptance in my life. Um, whether it was in business partnerships, whether it was in sales, whether it was in relationships, whatever it was. So the nature is, is changing your perception and actually being able to shift the energy. So losing your job or business, um, I can even remember when serial killers were caught, for example, they found that nearly all of them admitted that in the weeks leading up to when they were caught, they felt so guilty about it unconsciously, they almost wanted to be caught. People losing their job, inevitably you find they're just getting caught up with the tide. And I see this as inevitable more and more in days to come. Many people choose not to keep growing, keep evolving, keep shifting, and one day wake up and get made retrenched. And really all they're being told is you no longer give value to this company. And that is the truth. So energy shifting is a way of staying empowered and a way of continuing momentum in your life. So feeling depressed or miserable, manifesting a major illness, sickness, accident or injury, all this comes about in our thought processes, we, we were speaking with someone today in one of our groups who badly injured their big toe. And when we grilled it down, they admitted they'd been getting a real message to slow down and do certain things and the big toe injury forced them to slow down. So your higher self is always aiming to communicate with you all the time and always trying to show you things and aiming to help you grow. The question is when we lose connection with our higher self, um, consciously or frequently, it's unconsciously. We just lose it without realizing we've lost it. Before we know it, uh, we start manifesting in our reality around us the very things that, that reflect what's going on in us. So this is one lesson that if only, if I had to say if there's one thing I could change about the world today, it would be to change the way that everyone is seeing what's going on. If we could literally get most of, of like a lot of our city where we're living right now in our major cities to think like this and start to shift our perspective on what's happening, take our own ownership of what's going on and shift the energy of this whole situation. I'm telling you, nothing would happen in terms of coercive, mandatory vaccines, anything. It's the energy of both sides of the ledger, the energy of those who are driving it and also the energies of those who are afraid of it. So energy reading is where you become empowered and you realize you really can determine your own life, your universe, and things like that. So who's enjoying this so far or relating to what I'm saying? Yep, 
Yes, Lexi, Carolyn, Christine, Kathy, Adrian, Fabina, yes. Excellent. So yes, it's really, this is what happens. Unfortunately, this is one of these things. There's some things I say to you, I just don't know whether I'm right on this or not. There's some things I know a 100% certainty I'm right about. And this is one of these things that I do. That if we don't do something about it in our own lives, in what's happening in the world today, we will see our rights, freedoms and assets taken away. And it's already the world is heading that way. It seems like the world has made that choice, but they want to own nothing. They don't want to think for themselves and prefer to be disempowered. The question is, do we? And if we choose that path, it will happen. And when you choose that path either by a conscious choice or by an unconscious choice, which means doing nothing at all and going into the don't want polarized fear. And this is what drives so much of what's happening right now. So if you do something about it, by contrast, the way the universal law works, you will, wherever you end up being, somehow miraculously, you will be in a place which just happens to be completely okay, where things go very differently. As it turns out, where I live in West Australia, literally that on statistics and on figures in the Western world, we have done the best of any other place in the pandemic virtually in the Western world. And in terms of lockdowns, we really have, I mean, a lot, we really have had a lot less than any than anyone else. And when we had ours a month ago, I, I will actually tell you, until two months earlier to that, I'd been regularly doing dowsing and energy shifting on our state. I stopped doing it. Why? I got caught up with my with a foot injury. I got caught up with my own pleasure. I got caught up with my life. And when this happened, I got a bit of a wake up call, got busy again. And without exaggerating, I would see certain things happen on certain days. I would do an energy reading with a specific intention. The next day, something would happen that would back up what I was doing. I've seen this happen so many times. I just know there's no coincidence. We can actually um, change things. Nick says, this is really good and highly appreciated. Look, thank you, Nick. I mean, if I could, everyone in this webinar could get awakened to this and make shifts. It's a big start because we can do more of this and we can actually make a significant difference because... I don't think what's happening in the world is going to be able to be stopped myself, but I think we're, I think what can be stopped is the parts of the world that are going to be affected. I think there's going to be plenty of, of parts of the world that will not go this path if the, if, the, if the citizens awaken and step into their own power. That's how I see this happening. So the choice is to not step into the direction of the mass consciousness and instead to go into a self-empowerment path and into a higher collective way of being. So not moving towards stagnation. But the solution is by choosing to master your energy, you can use it as a gateway to massively transform your health, wealth, relationships, and life. So that's by choosing to do it. Everything is energy and every and energy can be transformed. And I love when Raymond first said those words. My heart just lit up with joy, and I'm like, yeah, you bet, you know? So Jamie, a lot of this information rings bells, as I mean, it makes a connection to what I see and have happened connecting the dots. Yeah, look, absolutely. You start to see it more, Jamie, and you just start to see how things can change, how things can shift, and you really start to see that we can change our world. And the more you get connected to your higher self, it's fantastic. In another sense, I will admit, it's not always fantastic because sometimes you see things so clearly and a and Don Miguel Ruiz said years ago, the most difficult experience can be the only healthy person in a leper colony. And I remember laughing about that. So often when you see things clearly, um, it can get very challenging because in a way you feel alone and that's not being egotistical. You will notice that more. As you start to soar higher, higher and higher in your life, you will see there's less people flying where you are. That just is what tends to happen. So... Inevitably, there's separation and there's endings when you go on this path and there's levels of disconnection that starts actually happening and things that you actually, you even do. So even now, I'm, I'm finding the more my energy is ascending high and I'm changing my perspective. I notice that a lot of even my former connections and clients, I don't understand my path at the moment in the sense that I'm actually attempting to understand politicians, understanding governments, why they're doing this so I can see all perspectives. I even met yesterday with our local 
Labor member, just to meet him. We he came over to my house, we had a drink for our local politician, and it was great meeting him. I enjoyed it, hearing his perspective, how he saw the whole thing. And again, as I'm seeing it, we can change the world by changing the perspective and by making a conscious effort daily to shift energy. I can remember a friend years ago who I had, who had a business that he took over that was losing $700,000 a year. And he just made a commitment that every day, for a minimum of 10 minutes, he would meet with his staff. And he told all of them, 10 minutes every day, six days a week, one day off. He said a year later, their business was absolutely booming because he said just those 10 minutes daily literally brought so much focus. It made everyone accountable. Subconsciously, people stayed accountable. They knew they couldn't slacken off. Where as soon as that breaks up, it stops happening. So energy is about focus. It's really what we're talking about is focus, intention, and becoming more aware of your intention and your focus. So there's a huge disconnect. Um, the big problem can be with being stuck in your head or disconnected from your higher self. That's a common one. Another big problem we find is that um, people actually, you made bad decisions in money and relationship matters, which really affect you. And the reality is when we make these decisions, they do affect us. Um, and this energy that tends to remain and be residual, which we've got to clear and shift. Um, the world as we know it is changing with lots of freedoms from COVID-19, contact tracing, coerced, mandatory vaccines, forced to wear a mask. And unfortunately, I see it all happening before my eyes. And knowing what I know about consciousness, you can see how the consciousness is creating this. I, I regularly go on Facebook posts. I go around. I read them all carefully. I watch what's going on. And sometimes I do get frustrated about the whole thing. But then I bring it back to myself. So... Without knowing how to read energy and retaining your freedom, you never will be going the direction of the coming financial reset and being a slave. The time has come to harness your intuition to make smart decisions for enhanced wealth, health, and relationships. It's a great time to do that now and make that choice. As well as clear any negative imprints or entities which are in the way and holding you back from getting the results you want. Who can relate to this? And all what I'm saying in some of these problems, just type a Y if you can. Yeah, quite a few. No, great. It's good. It's really good. I mean, I thing is, if anything in life, it's doing that. I mean, I do that in, in every area of my life. I'm, I'm constantly clearing energy every day. I'm clearing it with key businesses, with investments. I'm, I'm keeping it clear, especially with connections, relationships in my life. All this kind of stuff, you can actually do this and you can learn amazing things. I can remember Raymond Grace, for example, telling me about a husband and wife who were constantly fighting all the time and not understanding each other. And he just created an intention. And all he did was said, let's realign your spirit guides and, and your energies behind you to come into alignment. And he did this. And a day later, they said, what on earth did you do, Raymond? They said, we're getting on like a house on fire. And just simply by realigning the energies between them. I do that myself with business align alliances. I, I, I like to realign it at times, see where things are out of whack. I've used energy reading to even check people's integrity before. I can remember doing this with um, some of our staff and the average integrity showed it was very low. This was quite a few years ago now and it troubled me because I couldn't find out where it was coming from. And as I eventually broke it down, I found out where it was coming from and turned out there's a lot of dishonesty coming up, happening in our business. And we, after, getting, and after bringing it back to myself and doing a clearing on myself, I then dealt with the matters accordingly. So energy reading can really help you identify these things and do that. So investment blockages, negative money experiences, high tax, tax audits attracting to you, speeding fines or mask fines. Seriously, the one thing I've learned over many years is that it all relates to my state of mind and consciousness and the energy that I'm doing. I can remember when I was going through a stage of extreme anger against the government, I think I got about 18 speeding fines or 12 fines in 18 months. And I've also seen using energy reading, speeding fines and miraculously disappear. One of my favorite ones was I was pulled over a few years ago by a cop. And I had a lot of what's called demerit coins for speeding fines. As he was leaving me to go and check on my record, I knew if I got one more fine, I'd lose my license. I, 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 I sat there in the car, I projected it, and I scrambled all the energy of what had happened. 
I went in and created an intention that the computer system would show my record was good. And I was really serious about doing it. And I really believed in that moment. That's, and that was the key. He came back about five minutes later and he said, okay, your record is completely clean. I can't see any problem. I'm going to let you off running the red light. Um, have a good night, sir. And I've seen that these kind of things happen quite regularly. So I have a friend in, um, in South Carolina and where's it in Georgia, in America. And she told me, she just said, she scrambles speeding fines and sees them disappear. You can literally, if you, you can do anything you want if you believe you can do it with your intention. So who would like to start scrambling a lot of these energies of masks, lockdowns and all this kind of stuff? Who would like to learn a bit more about that and actually doing that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's good, isn't it? It's Because re really, we want our freedom, guys. You know, we want our freedom. We want our quality of life. And right now, it's a challenging job because whether we like it or not, the mass consciousness does indirectly affect our lives. Because let's just say, for example, the mass consciousness builds to such a fear levels that people can't even go into venues without having a, a experimental vaccine. Well, it does affect you indirectly because it limits your movement. So the reality is, whether we like it or not, um, yes, we can separate ourselves from the mass consciousness in terms of living a peaceful, prosperous, harmonious life. But still, if you live with a bunch of idiots, eventually their idiocy can indirectly impinge upon you. And that's always been my rule, which is why I generally avoid hanging out with idiots or people who don't want to grow. And in society, in a city, being very mindful about the mass consciousness. So this is where it takes people who are conscious to realise it's time for us to step up. It's time for people who know this, it's time to step up and actually start to change our perspective and consciously work to shift the energy. So in terms of just a little bit about me, just so you could know a bit more about me, um, for those of you who haven't met me before, I actually worked for the government for 10 years. I've actually worked as a lawyer on the dark side. I've been an accountant. I've done all the kind of nerdy, dark, working on the tax tax office. I was even an auditor, doing all kinds of stuff um, in my former existence, so to speak. So even to this day, although now I've, I've no longer worked for the tax office, I'm no longer a lawyer. I resigned from that six years ago. I, I, I'm based and I'm no longer really practiced as an accountant, financial advisor, so to speak, anymore. I do run an online education, wealth, wealth safe or wealth centre to help people financially prepare for the Great Reset and we run the Awakening Within, which is to help people shift blocks. So I've been doing this for th over 30 years. I've been doing spiritual kind of work, consciousness work and shifting. And yeah, I've been working, I I've been traveling on cruise ships, speaking worldwide. I've spoken with these various groups. Um, there's, um, yeah, this was one of my best mentors I ever had in various parts of the world. This was in Yellowstone National Park, which was just amazing. Utah Salt Lake City in Sedona, where I had my experience where I was six, six years ago, or seven years ago after going to a Raymond Grace workshop. So, okay, so now let's take a look at reading energy. Okay, so there's two ways I'm gonna cover this webinar today. The first thing I wanna do is look at the science behind reading energy and then look at some of the methods of how it's actually done. So let's just have a look at the science first. So in science, everything is energy, time, and space. It's not linear, but quantum, and our life is a hologram of what we create. Now, I've been saying that in energy for the last little while, but now all the quantum physicists think, uh, have been saying this. Amit Goswani, in his PhD thesis at Oxford some years ago, concluded pretty much everything that Jesus, Buddha, and all the great yogis taught is proven 100% fundamentally, no question by science. And I actually attempted to read his book and his whole thesis and I only got halfway through and gave up. Very complicated, but basically showing how everything in our life is a hologram, which means literally as you see it, we create it by what we see in our perception. Your mind is like a radio transmitter tuning into radio stations of energy. So we can actually harness energy to bring it into the physical. This was the secret of how we have the internet today, harnessing energy, electricity. This is how Nikola Tesla, for example, was able to do his amazing things with energy and set up energy grids and use pyramids. In Russia, they've used pyramids, which I'll explain about shortly, to even harness energy and transform energy 
and stop cataclysms. So you can tap into the infinite streams of energy. And all of us have had those moments when just suddenly we're so tuned in, we just know something. Like you just know a certain thing's going to happen. You just know that a crypto is about to go through the roof. I'm sure, Miko, you've had that experience. You just know it. And you can't explain why, but you just know it. Um, or you just know that something that's got, it's for something is going to work in your life, even though on the surface it doesn't seem like it. And I can remember when January last year came about and everything seemed to be going on as normal. I just knew. I didn't know how I knew, but I just knew that it was not the time to travel anymore and to not make any transplants for travel. And I just actually said that in the time to people around me. We're not going to travel this year. I don't know why, but something, things are going to change this year and we are really important we don't travel. So that's basically been that. So Michael Talbot looked at the issue of our daily reality and why we manifest day to day in his book, The Holographic Universe. He concluded that the teachings of the great spiritual yogis and the findings of quantum science are 100% consistent with each other and we create our reality by our belief systems and consciousness. He even went as far as to talk about a weeping Madonna statue where people were seeing it. There was a particular area in South America where people were seeing this miracle of this Madonna statue weeping. And he went in and actually explored the mass consciousness of the region and he found that everyone's level of faith was very simple. They all believed in it. The belief was very high. My cousin, I remember, who ran a normal church over here in Perth, West Australia, never saw any great miracles. He went one day to um, Cambodia or Sri Lanka, I can't remember where it was. He came back sobbing because he said he was seeing incredible miracles happen. He was seeing people with blind eyes open. He was seeing deaf ears just open straight up. He was seeing crippled people's legs grow back in front of him. Extraordinary miracles. And in fact, he came back so excited tried to do it in his own church and absolutely nothing happened. And he was really bewildered. And the message he was given was the people in where you went were ready for this. They're open. Their belief in their holographic or their belief systems is, and their faith is high. The Western world are, are not at that place right now because they're, they're still too dependent on their technology, on materialism, and almost and, and, and sceptical about miracles. So he said, you're fighting the mass consciousness. So even to this day in Australia, many healers, I know I notice this myself, when I do healing works, you get me working with people who are very open-minded. I've seen extraordinary miracles. I've seen people get healed very quickly. In our family, we've seen a number of healing miracles. I've had clients in our webinars, like get instantly healed of back injuries from car accidents. So I had somebody healed instantly of, um, yeah, of, of, of conjunctivitis. Yeah, I just went perfectly good. But again, it was a mixture of my faith, but also the belief of the people that were there. So your consciousness and what's going on around you really does affect it. So that's why first it's about shifting your consciousness, changing your energy, and from there working it on the people around you or the society around you. In fact, he even talked about a lake or pool people were walking into and getting instantly healed. You'll see that in the Bible in Matthew chapter 8, for example, where it talked about a pool... <coughs> where everyone would sit there and wait, and when they'd see an angel come and stir the waters, they'd get healed. So there's parts of the world, there's certain healing streams where you can walk in and get healed. So, and it's because of the consciousness of the area and the belief and the spirit of that region. Raymond Grace, when he was teaching about spirits, he said everything has spirits and spirit. There's a spirit in the water. There's a spirit in the rocks. There's a spirit in the trees. Yeshua even said that when he was challenged by the religious leaders of his day, he said, if the, if the rocks, if you don't sing out and cry praise, he said, and glory to God, even the rocks will do it. In other words, he knew that the rocks have spirits. There's nature spirits, there's tree spirits, there's all different spirits. Now, I'm sure most of us can understand when, as Raymond says, many of the spirits of nature have disappeared and gone somewhere else because of what's being done on the earth right now. So... We do, you can even by intention call the spirit back into the water and heal it. And we do this kind of stuff and see amazing things happen. So, in conclusion, there are five principles which I have to summarize. And I could give you a whole science lesson today, but I won't. So, I'll just break it down to five key principles which science has taught. Number one is that traditional physics is fast breaking down materialism, where people believe that science and matter is all that matters. That was what Einstein taught. Matter is what creates consciousness. Quantum says, no, consciousness is what creates matter. 
And now more and more scientists are moving over to that way of thinking. So consciousness, your way of thinking, creates your material reality around you. All things are interconnected. We are one with all things. We are one with each other. All our energy is interconnected. We are interconnected with every living being, every living organism. We are connected. And the more closer we are with people, the stronger the connection actually is. So business partners, you'll have a stronger connection with them than everyone else. If you live in a city, then that city, your connection with the people of the city will be higher than another city. If you have children, your connection may be particularly strong with them. You'll be connected with them. If you have a partner or lover, your connection will be particularly strong with them and you'll feel what's happening there. In, in financial matters, you will feel very connected with, um, in, if you're in particular investments, you will feel it. And yeah, two people raise their hands. So I'm sure who can relate to this? can actually feel that, that connection, especially when things happen with those around you, you actually notice it, like you're very em empath or empathetic. Yeah, Christine, yeah. Yeah, my experience is a lot of indigos are very empathetic. You know, you feel things very strongly. For me, that, yeah, I can't read the rest of his names for some weird reason. Um, but yet yeah, we're one with all things. Time and space is not linear, but it's in the now. So that's the other thing too. So time isn't a straight line, but it's a constant now. So that's why you can even shift energy around timelines if you believe. Things, objects aren't localized. It's spread as one big hologram. And nothing exists until observed. That's the biggest thing around. So in fact, going back to this fourth point, actually there's a brain doctor who's used this to help people actually heal their brain from brain injury, where they see their brain as one big hologram not as one particular thing. Nick says, the more inner work, the easier to manifest resources. Exactly, yeah, precisely, Nick. So you can do this with everything and nothing exists until you observe it. The only reason, and this one principle is the reason that we are where we're at. And this is the thing that most concerns me about what's going on in the world right now, is just the mass consciousness of what people are thinking and seeing. And if you go into most, that's why I hate most of these protests and mandatory vaccination groups, for example. Like, I really don't like them. And one of the reasons why I don't like them, for example, is um, like millions march against mandatory vaccination. I'm like, well, and just most of it is very much about the negative of what we don't want. Now, I'm not saying, again, there's not times to bring awareness to something and say this is what's going on. But the biggest focus is to always got to be on what you actually want. And I can remember when I first learned goal setting and manifestation, I was specifically taught that. And I remember my natural tendency was to create don't want goals. And I was wondering why I kept getting them. Like, I don't want to have this in my life, or I don't want to have a, I don't want to keep losing money every time I invest. That was one, one of mine at one stage, or I don't want to keep, and I don't want to keep having toxic connections. And it was various things of don't want. Once I transform them, like having really flowing connections um, with people who are like-minded to having a, you know, tantric connection with a like-minded partner on spiritual, mental, emotional, financial levels or soul levels um, in terms of investing, like having prosperous investments and, and things like that, that are aligned with my, you know, with my ethics and higher self. I noticed that it didn't happen straight away, but I did notice the tide start to shift and the change start to happen. So this is what we can also do, not only for ourselves, but for our society. So in summary, these are the conclusions. Traditional physics is no longer relevant, quantum physics more real. And so these are the five rules of science. So now let's have a look at energy reading and how these work. So any, any questions on that? Everyone getting what I'm saying? Who's enjoying this? Just a bit of feedback, everyone. I've been talking a lot. Ian's enjoying it. Great. You're good to see you, Ian. Yeah, Pamita, Jackie, Christine, great. Fabulous. Well, it's great to have you all here. It really is. And it's a wonderful energy and um, wonderful, um, you know, you're a great group of people. Yeah, thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> Nick, keep talking, love it. Now it's great. It's really good, everyone, because like I said, this is what we're doing. So the first one is pure intuition. 
Now, keep in mind, in all remote viewing studies and in most other things, this has generally been proven to be one of the most unreliable, as strange as it might sound. Now, what do I mean by that? Not because it can't potentially be reliable, but because we have so many mental and spiritual filters in us, we often can mistake intuition for emotion and things like that. And that can take time to discern that. But pure intuition, in a sense, is something we do get from time to time and quite frequently, and just having a knowing about stuff. So that's one way you read energy. You just know. You read, you feel, you sense, you just know. You know what's going on. The second way, is, which is common, which is a tool, is muscle testing. Now, one way is, of course, to go to a kinesiologist or energy reader. I remember being taught how to do it myself. So how I've done it, and you can actually all do this with me now if you would like to. So just allow yourself just to feel into yourself right now. And just say the word in your mind, not out loud, yes. Yes, just keep saying it. And notice what happens to your body. When I do that, yes, my body, my, my chest opens up and broadens. I feel a softness come around the energy around my chest. My heart gets softer, more flowing, more loving, more open. Yes. Now I'm going to say no. No. And keep saying that in your mind. And I notice that my chest, I feel this caving in happen around my breast up here. I feel I start to cave in energetically. I start to feel a little bit tense or constricted around there. I get a clear difference in the two. So, for example, my name is Warren. Yes, I can feel my heart open. My name is Cynthia. I feel my whole chest just tense up, and I feel my head instinctively want to, want to shake my head and say no. Everyone's different how you experience it, but did anyone notice, do that with me, and notice a real difference between the yes and the no? Just type a Y if you did. If you actually noticed a real no, yet difference. Ian did, yep. For me, that, yep. It takes practice, by the way. Some of you may not. Adrian, yep. Andy, yep. Some of you may not have, but yep. Kaylan, yep. So quite a few people. Great. Now it's good. So if you're feeling it, that's a good sign, really good sign. So that's a way you can self muscle test. I do this myself. Like, when I'm looking at a menu and don't always know, is the food on the, on the left side of the menu going to be most beneficial for me? And I have to ask the question very exact because, you know, say, should I eat or do I want to eat this? That will, you know, you could want to eat McDonald's. So I said, is it most beneficial for my body to eat the left side of the menu? I might get a yes. The right side, I'll get a no. Then the top half, I'll test. On the top half, yes, no. Then I'll see two dishes that jump out at me. Is it the bacon and eggs dish? Is it the eggs benedict? And I actually do this myself, most meals now, when I'm not sure. If I'm really sure, I just do it. If I'm not sure, I muscle test. And it's amazing how accurately it actually works if I really do tune in. You can do that as well with um, a client if you're in sales. Like, is this person, you know, flowing with me or, you know, you know serious about, you know, buying my product? Um, you, or you might even ask, is there any hesitations or resistance which I've got to address? You can ask questions, and after a while, it becomes a natural thing. One of my mentors used to use his left hand. He would actually go out, use his left hand, and he, he trained his left hand so he would feel energy going out and feel it coming back in. So he would feel it going out for a yes and going into his hand for a no. He would use that with Baccarat and at the casino. And at one stage, he was making a lot of money going into the casino actually doing that. So that's another way you can read energy. The fourth one is pendulums. This is what Raymond does mainly. And I do pendulums, not as much as I used to, but I do use pendulums. Pendulums are very good because they can give you a percentage reading. So like I might ask, is there, what's the, what's the percentage, um, you know, integrity of this person? And I found if it's less than 70%, I'm very, I'm very, I'm just straight out, won't do anything with that person. If it's between 70 and 90, mm, it's okay. But I, I ask the pendulum, can this be increased? Or is there a way to address this? And if it's 90% or over, it's a green light for me. This was something that Raymond taught, taught me to do with people. So I've learned to do that with people in business, with relationships, with everything, because integrity is huge. My business mentor told me that there's three 
sees that he reckons someone should have if you're going to do business or anything with that person. Currency, competency, and character. And so competency, currency, and character. So competency means they're good at what they're doing in business. Um, currency means they're, they're relevant what they're doing today. And character, he said, is the most important. They do what they promise you. So I've met people who are very current, very competent, but they don't have much character. And that's a real big no-no. You can do that in relationships too. You can almost apply the same rules. Is this relationship um, current um, for me? In other words, do, do we have aligned values with someone, with this, with this person I'm dating or seeing or whatever? Do we have aligned values? Oh, is it competent? Do we have competent aligned values? Um, is it, sorry, current, like current? Um, in other words, are we aligned? Is it competent? In other words, is this person willing to work through stuff and do stuff for, uh, and, and on the same page as me and we're running at the same level or at least close enough? And then character, will this person keep their word to me? So Nick says it's fantastically useful. Yeah, it's very useful, Nick. I, I, I found this so, so useful. And I find that when I do those three C's test in most business partnerships, it knocks people out. Um, in most um, connections with people, I don't have many friends right now. I don't have a lot of friends for that reason. I just find that most people tend to fail on the three C's. They either are unaligned with where I'm at right now. They don't have the competency to own stuff and, you know, have intelligent debate or they just don't have character. They they promise a lot but don't deliver a lot. So that's, that's the three things that um, you can apply that. So checking integrity, checking this, you can do all that. I do this with staff. Even every now and again, I check our staff and make sure it's still working. I sometimes check if something I've been told by someone around me, you know, is this truthful? And I'll get a yes or a no. And I've learned it to be correct. Is this particular investment, um, you know, going to make me, you know, X amount of money? Um, or one of the things I've learned, you've got to be very exact. So is this cryptocurrency, for example, likely to double in the next month or in the next year? Things like that. So Boba is my favorite at the moment. It's just my current one. I, I like Boba because it's really easy. You can see it easily. I find it just you can sit back and chill and like it will just move. So what Raymond's taught me to do is I actually, when it goes anti-clockwise, that's a scrambling energy. So like scrambling negative energy. So, for example, right now, what I'm going to do is scramble any negative interferences in everyone's mind right now, just around what's going on from the mass consciousness around you, what's happening in your city, what's happening in your region, and generally how anything around negative business influences, governmental influences, which are affecting and even the people around you. So I'm just scrambling the impact of mass consciousness, social media, upon each person here on the webinar listening. And how do I do it? I just, like you said, you just know, first, the starting point is just knowing that you can do it and knowing that there's no reason why you can't. I love what Raymond Grace said. He said, the reason I can do things other people can't do is because I don't really put limitations on myself. I just assume things can be done. That was no doubt why Jesus was able to do great miracles. Why Buddha? Why Krishna? They just had no doubt. They just knew they could do it. So anyone, just type a Y if you're feeling the energy right now as I'm doing this, because I can certainly feel it. So really clearing the mass consciousness of your city, of your region, of your leaders, and anything interfering with you. Yep, Kathy, Miko's feeling it. Yeah, so those who really Nick, sensitive to energy, you'll feel it. I know I feel it. Famita, Adrian, good. I'm glad you're feeling it. It's good that people are really connected you know troy good now i'm really glad people are feeling it i'll admit when i first started this work I, I wouldn't feel it half the time it used to frustrate me and the more i got sensitive and in tune it really started to still going it's just started to ease up now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to is i'm going to allow it to go clockwise because clockwise is the energy to activate transform so let's actually transform that energy into something because energy can't actually run away from it, can't disappear. It just transforms, okay? So let's just um, do that. Let's just transform the energy. So we'll transform it, and let's, what will we do? Let's just transform it into a sense of love, 
prosperity and groundedness for each and everyone here. Let's just do that. Let's just transform into more love, more prosperity, more grounding, um, more connection. Okay. So let's just see. So what I might even do is what I'll often do is yes and no. So what is the average level, and Raymond Grace is an energy scale of the, of the energy level of the group before I did that. Is it over 20,000? No. Is it between, is it over 10,000? Yep. Over 15? Yep. Is it 16, 17, 18? I'm getting 18,000. Now, let me check for after that thing. So is it over 20,000 now? Yes, it is. Is it over 25,000? Yes, over 30? No. So is it between 25 and 30,000? Yes, it is. Okay. And we could keep doing other things to keep raising the energy of the group. And it's amazing how you feel it afterwards. So there's been about a 40% improvement in the energy of the group. In fact, probably more like about a 50 or 60%. So who can feel that? Bronwyn, would you mind clarifying the anti-clockwise direction, please? Yes, absolutely. So the anti-clockwise is what I've trained my mind to scramble energy, to make it neutralize or scramble. What's interesting is in black magic, the way they create a curse is they go anti-clockwise in a circle. That's how they do it. And by contrast, in, um, in, in, in activation, you have, the, you have it go clockwise. So clockwise is activating. So when you want to scramble or energy, you actually um, do it. So Nick, how do you measure it? Yeah, look, there's, just, it, there's a BOVA scale, which is used by dowsers, which Raymond uses. It's just called a BOVA scale, Nick, which is what I use. So generally, a, an energy of a healthy human, you should be at least 20,000 minimum. Um, ideally, you should be more like 30,000 plus. So if you're less than $20,000, it generally means you're affected by negative emotions. It generally means that you've got, um, and if you're less than 10,000 or 5,000, you've probably got demons, dark spirits, dark forces, or discarnates getting you. So um, I'll spell it, Nick Bovis, B-O-V-I-S. So it's basically, um, yeah. So these days, as Raymond said, we can get energy as high as he's seen it go to phenomenal heights. At one stage when he and I were doing work together just a few weeks ago, I was up nearly 800,000, five, 600,000, which he said is insane. But he said he's seeing more of that now. And I felt that like I could just about soar. So, yeah, you can, you can shift your energy and really grow it. So the energy of the group is that. Another example we might even do right now is let's just see what is the impact of electromagnetic frequencies and technology on people in the group today? So is it over 20%? Yes, 30%. Yes, 40, 50. Okay, so it's around 50, 45, 50. Yes, yeah, so it's around 45, 50. So what I'm going to do, this is just the second thing I'm going to do before we continue and then basically is we're going to actually scramble using anti clockwise again, the impact of mass technology 5G, um, mobile phones, electromagnetic electronics, fiber optic cables to the node, elect electricity going through your house, anything from mobile phone towers. Oh, it's going like nuts. This is going really fast. I do this, by the way, and since I started doing all this for myself, I have for years now when I go and I used to always go to get um, naturopathy and things like that and I always show up when I was affected by EMFs and all that and have to take heavy metal detox drinks. Since I've been doing this, it never shows up anymore. Psych technology, I'm immune to it, just hardly affects me at all. This, it's that powerful, this. I'm going to do two things to this just to show you demonstration. So, yeah, it's going like nuts at the moment. So, clearly, some of you here have been really spending a lot of time on technology, which, considering the world's in lockdown and you can't do much outside of technology, that would, that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, 50% is high. If you're over 20%, that's going to really affect you. 50% is nuts. That means that you're really, some of you would have been feeling flat, low, heavy, highly wired and anxious. Now we're going to transform that energy into, you know, what's called healthy electromagnetic frequencies within everyone's body to restore the magnetic polarity, balance the mind, hormone, emotions, 
in all levels and all dimensions and each and every person. And that's happened beautifully. And I'm going to do one more thing. And I'll tell you what I do afterwards. So who can already feel the change? Who can already feel a bit of a, a little bit better with the EMS and just notice a change? Miko? Yeah. This is something you can significantly change it. Only Miko, no one else? Kathy? Okay, I'm going to do one more thing and I'll tell you afterwards. I'm asking you now, for me, that my shoulder was hurting and now it stopped hurting. Okay. Yep, Adrian, maybe. Lexi, yes. Great. No, so the ones that are... And look, getting sensitive to energy can take time. Fiona just said to feel dizzy. Yeah, you really feel it, Fiona, energy now. So I'm just going just gonna to do something now, and I want you to notice if you feel a shift when I do this. And then, tell, then I'll tell you afterwards what I did. Okay, did anyone feel anything that happened there when I did that? Bronwyn Ty, Christine Red feeling better. Ian, did anyone feel that? And I'll explain afterwards what I did. One of Raymond's best tricks he taught me. Anyone felt, even if it was a subtle shift, did anyone feel a bit better? Kathy, a bit giddy? Yeah. Adrian, a bit of something. Lexi Leiter, Elaine, Elaine felt it with my mind. Miko Subtle. What I, Nick felt switched on. Okay, so what I did was I just went to every one of your electricity boxes in your house and I put styrofoam around it. What styrofoam does, it neutralizes EMF. So I went to every 5G tower, mobile phone tower, everyone in your region, and just covered it with styrofoams and even white crystalline pyramids after the Tesla technology. And this was something I learned from Raymond and it's extraordinarily effective like extraordinarily and especially if you do it consistently so let's just see now if that's changed energy of the group again so is it is it over thirty thousand? yes over forty thousand. yes wow is it over fifty thousand? yes is it over sixty thousand? no is it between 50 and 60 Whew. yeah it is okay i like it that's a big jump, everyone. If you're 50 to 60, it means generally now your minds would be clearer. Nick, amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. So all of you should be noticing you feel a bit lighter and your mind is just a bit clear and you're a little bit less wide than you were before you came to the webinar because the energy of the group has increased three times what it was previously. So Kathy, my mind is clearer. Nick, like alpha brainwave focus. Correct. That's what I was doing, Nick. I'm moving... I'm just slowing down everyone's frequency into a more alpha brainwave focus. So this is fun. I enjoy this stuff. So another way is pyramids. So one thing I learned, I was actually having hair loss some years ago. And when I first learned this, I projected a pyramid over my head every single day for a month. Um, just imagine a Tesla pyramid over my head. I went to my hairdresser, who was quite conscious, didn't tell her anything, and she says to me, what have you done to your hair? She goes, your hair's got thicker, and it seems like you stopped losing hair now. Have you done something? And I said, why? What do you mean? She goes, well, it's just thicker. She goes, I've never seen your hair this thick before. And I said, okay. And I told her what I was doing, and she goes, wow, I know that works. One of my friends had an enlarged prostate, I, and I had one myself, and he used a pyramid a projector to basically cure his prostate. I got food poisoning a number of years ago in, in, in um, basically over in, um, in Singapore. I was literally in absolute agony in my stomach from really bad food poisoning. I just imagined a pyramid, a pink pyramid, and pink is because it's a 15th dimensional high frequency color. I imagined it right over my stomach and I use it in connection with imagining moving the energy out through a pyramid out of my body and transforming the energy but in two minutes later, the food poisoning was healed. Um, Brahman asks why a Tesla pyramid. Look, I just use that because I know Tesla's pyramids were all after the dimensions of the Great Pyramid and, and met sacred geometry. So for me, Brahman is just gives me a, a clue in my mind, a Tesla pyramid. That's the sole reason. You could use anything. If you prefer just the Great Pyramid, you could use that, a white crystalline pyramid. 
I just find Tesla Pyramid works well for me. So it's just an intention, that's all. So codes is one of my favorite things that we do a lot of, like I'll give you an example of codes for those of you, some of you have been with us for a while and you'd know that we do lots of regular codes, but as an example, um, I'm regularly doing, doing codes and doing things used to shift energy. And I found codes are very, 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 very powerful. So as an example right now, um, just to show you one, for example, um, this is one example of a code right now. So this is a new one I've just got given to me. The, if you inhale that into your mind and your eye, you will instantly feel your vibrations rising. This is a great master code about actually awakening the divine mother and the great master. It's a new code I just got designed for me just the other day. So that's another example of how you can raise energy. Yeah, like a mandala, Nick, but yeah, very powerful. We use these to bring into our third eye. In JJ Hertak's The New Science in Quantum Physics, he talks about the future will be a lot more code and pineal gland activations and using pictographs to awaken people's consciousness. So that's another example is a code and how you can use a code. Remote viewing, some of you have heard of and done. That was a science or technology that was done by the US government with great effect to raise con to read consciousness. They use it to check out spying, to find out where nuclear sites were hidden. They, um, we've even used that successfully in sports betting to read the Bitcoin direction um, very accurately to bet sports games, um, things like that. So Ed Dames made about $300,000 in one day um, at Las Vegas using remote viewing to actually read the results of sporting games and things like that. So remote viewing is very, very, is another tool of energy reading. It's where you actually learn to tap into the science of consciousness and how to do that. Parrot reads, psychic reads a medium. That's kind of like the first one, your intuition. That's another very popular way where you just tune in, use cards, really anything you can use like that, that just learns to tap into your intuition. One of my favorites at the moment is the I Ching. The I Ching is the most accurate if you want a specific reading. There's 64 hexagrams or whatever, which are used to actually give you an exact reading, which was used by the great Chinese emperors and masters to actually give you very precise guidance. So I use them, especially in business at the moment, I use them and they give me very, very good accuracy. So there's many ways you can do it. And the truth is, all it comes down to is people say, what's the right way? And there isn't really one. It's just finding ways that do work. And my rule was very simple. Um, it's natural in us to try and reinvent the wheel. The smartest thing to do is follow what the great masters are doing, um, master what they've done, and then from there, we can always add in our own spin to it. So this is why energy reading, starting with learning how to use a pendulum, use a bobber, and just use these basic things and master your inner intuition, it's a great starting point, which you can only grow and add on. We use it for energy reading in auric attachments. I check if someone's got a demon or got a spirit or got an energy or whatever else. I find it's very accurate if I do it correctly. So if you've got self-sabotage going on, for example. So as we said earlier, every day we are picking up stuff from the mass mind. So the clearing you got today is great. But if you then did nothing for the next few days, in about three or four, in, in, in three days' time or even within 24 hours, you'll notice you'll go right back to where you were before or close enough there too. Just simply because these things hold for a time until your consciousness gets used to the new way of being. So energy reading can do this, transform that consciousness. So in all areas of your life, business, health, everything. You can even do it, we do it a lot with politicians at the moment. That's our biggest one. Because what we've noticed, I'm sure you'd all agree, is these guys can cause a lot of damage. They really can, because they've got so much power to make decisions. So Nick says, is that why prayer helps so much? Yeah, well, prayer is just a way, Nick, of, of tuning in to the divine mind. It's all it is. is prayer is just a, is a way of tuning your own inner energy into the divine higher mind to become one with the higher mind. That's all it is. Prayer is just your way of tuning in. So that's why the worst kind of prayer, prayer you could ever do is, God, please help me. Number one, you're asking from a beggar position. Number two, you're looking to something outside yourself. Um, so that's the worst way you can pray. 
the best way you can pray is what I call prayers of thanksgiving or gratitude, just a knowing. Like I just give thanks, but I know that right now I'm moving in, I'm, I'm becoming a better trader each day, as an example. Or I just know each day my heart is opening more into better connections in my life. And I like those kind of um, prayers because they're realistic. Like if you uh, keep losing money from trading and say, I am the greatest trader in the world, your higher self just doesn't actually believe you. It just doesn't believe you at all. Um, whereas by contrast, if you say something that you, you work with where you can do and with where your faith is at. So it may just be with you, for example, that says, I am gradually, you know, or I, I am transforming my business and it's growing more prosperous each day. That was one of the ways I grew my business initially. Now these days I've moved to the level where I just simply say I'm prosperous. You know, it's just the business is prosperous and it's going to only get more prosperous. So if you can do that, you can certainly transform the anger of politicians. And we've seen extraordinary miracles I, I, with this. I can remember when the government said last year in Australia, certain things were definitely going to happen. We went to work on the energy and I think within eight hours, they backtracked on everything um, and did exactly what we created in our intention. Because the way I see it is if they can manipulate our mind, we can certainly, you know, do something around them. And if what they're doing is not for the highest good, we can certainly, you know, um, shift their energy and dispossess their spirits. People often ask, can you do something against people against their will? Well, not really as a rule, but it depends. If someone's being driven by spirits, for example, and doing things that are causing great evil for their, for their people, you can actually do that. One of my things in West Australia, for example, where I live, I'm regularly doing um, with my son, who we do it together, is we transform all the energy of our key leaders, and we name them, uh, Mark McGowan, our, our Premier of our state, um, Roger Cooks, our Health Minister, Ben Wyatt, our Treasurer, Andrew Robertson is our Deputy Chief Health Officer, um, Andrew Miller is the Head of the Medical Board, and Chris Dawson's the Commissioner of Police. So they're what we call the key people. So most days we're actually going, we're, 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 we're dispossessing any spirits, um, demons or negative influences that are interfering with them. And we go, go forward and clear it out of them, do regular clearings on them. And we just command that, that, that their guides are aligned with the higher councils and the higher universes that are working for the good of the state. And we do this regularly. And whenever we do this consistently, we notice that things seem to flow a lot better in our state. And our politicians seem to be happier because the way I see it is that if our key leaders are happy and if they're in a good state of mind, they're going to do good by their people. So that's just one example of what you can do. And I'm sure all of us would agree that it's a much better way to go than living around in fear and being an angry little grumpy bum and sitting there whinging about how we're going to end up, you know, living in a concentration camp or whatever else. I mean, yes, that's definitely a reality that there, that's definitely on the cards. But we can shift the energy and we can transform it. I mean, who's with me on this? Who, who, can, who gets where I'm coming from on this? Yep, Nick, Christine, Lexi, awesome. Andy, yep, Miko, Kathy, yep, no, nah, it's good. You can, and you can become a voice of influence among your people too. You really can. So anger, a very good example of shifting energy is anger. You can, be, you can basically use for violence. You can go out and beat someone up. You can punch your partner and do domestic violence. That's one way you can do anger. It can be expressed only. A brilliant psychotherapist I know actually told me, he said, it's very easy to stop a domestic violence if you can just teach people how to helpfully express their anger in words. As soon as people learn to communicate with words, it stops happening. So he said most domestic violence happens because they're not expressing their anger and they're just releasing it in an attack rather than speaking it out very metaphorically. So that's all it actually is, or very succinctly. So you can express anger verbally, like I am angry at you because you promised you'd do this for me and you didn't. That's a good example. Um, rather than just kind of feeling it and then just lashing out. And it can also be transformed into wild sexual energy. There's a link between the two. Um, you can transform it into prosperity or spiritual um, enlightenment. You can transform it into many things. You can choose how you channel your energy and how you channel what's going on around you. You can really make a choice. So on energy reading around finances, for example, 
it can get you financial independence. I, I, I would ask things like, what is the best path for me to get financially independent? It was very frustrating for me when I did this because I was hoping it would tell me by investing in cryptos, by doing all this and doing all that. All of that gave me a no. And so this is what I said. You don't always get the answers you want to hear. But when I was doing around focusing on my purpose and doing the spiritual energy reading and building the consciousness center and actually helping the planet ascend, I kept getting a yes. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to trust in that because I did know that they say you live your purpose, it happens. It's been amazing that I've actually noticed that since I've been doing that, everything else in my life seems to work, like investments are working, um, businesses are taking off, um, things like that. And so it turns out my dowsing was correct. Surprise, surprise. I'm protecting your wealth. It can show you if there's a threat. Raymond Grace says you can even check if someone's thinking about burgling your house right now. Now, it's hard to measure this thing, obviously, but I do that sometimes. So is there someone thinking of burgling my house right now? I'm getting a no. Is there anyone thinking of burgling anyone's house right now? Seriously, I'm getting a yes. More than, is it less than five on the webinar? Yeah, one, one to three people. No, four. Five. Yeah, four or five, I'm actually getting that. So I'm going to scramble that right now. And again, you can't measure that. I, so this is just one of these things I'm just going to do. And if no one's house gets burgled, maybe it was because of this, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But seeing as it's showing there's a risk, I may as well just do it. And obviously, just make sure. But yes, I've had stuff like this happen myself, where I've had these warnings or premonitions, I haven't listened to them, and then things happen. Yeah, but scramble pretty quickly. So... You can do that with, with wealth if anyone's thinking of suing you, if there's any competitors that hate you even. I remember in Raymond Grace's workshop, we, I discovered that there was a competitor that hated me, but their hate was actually interfering with my business. And once I did that, it shifted the energy. So I'll even check that now for everyone. Is there anyone who in their business or finances has anyone interfering with it through hate or competitors? I'm getting a yes. So, okay. Let's just scramble that energy of any competition, negative um, you know, interferences from ex-partners, um, friends, business colleagues, um, anyone of that kind, competitors in your finances, people that you know who are secretly wanting your downfall or trying to work against you. Yep, that's clear pretty quickly. And let's just transform that, all that hate and negative energy into prosperity. And we can do that because energy is energy. It may be directed to you at hate, but you can transform it into prosperity or into love. So that's the way to do it. Yeah, Elaine, negative from a male friend. Yeah, look, my feeling is many of you have got toxic interferences with you without, and you don't even realize it or just realize it now as I said that. Miko felt it, Elaine felt it. Anyone else here actually felt straight away and thought, yo, yikes, there actually are family members or there's friends or there's competitors or someone we could feel who's secretly wanting our downfall. So there's a few, yeah, for me though, yeah. If you've got financial challenges in your life, there's a good chance that you've got that going on. There's someone secretly wanting your downfall. Yeah, Christine, Kathy, there's a good chance it's happening. So we'll we scramble it for you anyway. Residual cash flow, crypto success and trading, buying gold investing, being in a business that you love. We've had so many examples, I wouldn't know where to start, but I'm just going to give a couple. Charlotte was one of our clients who absolutely flourished with this. She was in massive debt, $250,000 or something. She was like um, with a business thing. She was struggling in her business and literally just turned it all around. She was brilliant. She did all the energy reading like every night faithfully. She worked on her business. And literally within six months, she was making a 10, 15,000 a month income from her business. And she was on the way to being out of debt. And then soon after that, she was on the way to being out of debt. So Raymond Grace's closest friend, a guy called Jeffrey Jones, he used energy reading to completely eradicate an $800,000 debt and, and, and create the biggest sale he'd ever made in his life. In fact, made in his state ever in America and become financially free overnight. So Jeffrey Jones, his friend did that. Jeff Jones also used energy reading to actually um, scramble the need for him to have food. So 25 years later, he hasn't eaten food for 25 years, apart from the occasional nibble on a bit of popcorn. He just transformed his water 
so that his water gives him all his nutrients. Um, I had a client who came a few years ago to this, or two years ago to this class. She had a few, she owed about 120 grand to the, to the bank. And after doing a clearing at this webinar, the next day the bank called her and told her they were scrapping her debt. Now, most of you know that doesn't exactly happen as a normal thing. The only question is what you believe and what you believe is possible. This client had a huge belief, a very open um, heart, and had no trouble letting go and surrendering. So the more you can do that, the easier it actually is. Another great client was Eli. This guy was insane in a good way. He was just everything I was saying. He was doing it in extreme. He was making 120 grand a year as a contractor. Within about a year, he was making that a month on Amazon, just running an Amazon business. So he went from 120 grand a year to 120 grand a month within about 12 months just by changing his energy. So there's so much you can do. Um, this lady here, um, amazing, one of my favorite ones. She had a very bad car accident, lower back pain. That one was an instant clearing. I, I felt in that particular webinar, this woman had no in, inhibitions. I just saw it healed and I told her that and she got it. She was just absolutely ready. There was nothing in the way. So the great thing of energy reading, it prepares you for greatness. So finally, before we take questions and share options to move forward, let me just um, go through this process on reading energy and clearing imprints. So Raymond Grace teaches about the five brain states. And anyone who knows anything about neuroscience or neurofeedback would know about this. So the delta is when you're in REM fast asleep. It's said of Jesus and of um, Yuketswa, that their brain state was, was a delta even when they were awake. Now, that's extraordinary. And it's possible, according to remote viewer Gerald O'Donnell, who trains people with this, but very hard. If you, are, if you are able to be in a delta brain state while you're awake, you would literally be able to do any miracle you want. That's, that means you have totally slowed your mind down to a state of dream, of dream state of consciousness. So delta is a pure REM state. That's when you're asleep at night in a deep sleep. Theta is when you're half asleep, half awake, when you're really, really, you're gone. This was what Tesla would do. He would meditate and go into a theta state, and he would know if he hit his theta state because he dropped the ball bearing in his hand. Once he did that, he would just open his eyes, grab his journal, and write everything that came to him without even thinking about it. And he would come up with all of his great inventions and miracles. I do that kind of stuff from time to time. Just go into a deep state and just write whatever comes to me. According to Dr. John Thompson, neuroscientist, seven hertz is the exact frequency that's the aha moment. So when you have a real aha moment, when something comes to you, it's when you've hit seven hertz. So, for example, you can even train your brain to go into a deep state just by doing energy work and other things like that. Alpha brain state is that daydreaming, the state you feel when you're watching TV, when you're just in a deep meditative state when you're just kind of thinking, you're going through guided visualizations, when you're just basically letting go and not thinking too much about things. So alpha state is a great state to be. That's the state when you really start to see the miracles. Um, theta, more so, the deeper you can go, the more miraculous, but even in alpha, you can do this. Raymond Grace taught in his self-empowerment workshop that the reason why most people's affirmations or manifestations don't work is they're trying to do it not in an alpha state, but in a beta state. The beta state is what's called your monkey mind. That is a state that you get to, once you hit about age 13 or 14, you tend to move into that. Before that, up to about age 12, you tend to be in the theta or alpha state. Before age six, you tend to be mainly in a theta. Between six to 12, you're mainly in an alpha. From 13 onwards, you tend to move more into a beta unless you train your brain out of that state. There's a very good reason why, why Yeshua or Jesus once said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Unless you become like a little child, you can't inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus never promoted a church. He never promoted a religion. That's what he did. He just brought people back to source, back to, the, back to God within themselves. But yet still to this day, the churches seem to think they've got a monopoly on him. So anyway, that's a whole different question. So Gamma is what ten, when you're doing a major psychedelic journey like LSD or something, that's where you're often in that heightened state where you're just going, whoa, 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 and everything's happening fast. 
So the secret is, as Neville Goddard says, the subconscious does not know the difference between what is true and what is not real. Now, that is the most accurate statement you'll almost ever read. And you know this because many of you, for example, might believe right now that something terrible is going to happen to you. Now, that, that's almost certainly not even true. But you believe it's true. Most of our misfortunes, we literally manifest them because we believe them to be true, even if they're not. Like, for example, if you have a house right now, if you're fed, if you've got money in your bank, you're, you're, you're looked after, you're abundant. And if you believe that abundance, that you are abundant and only increasing, your unconscious will naturally tick in and do in accordance with that. If you believe that you are broke, or if you believe that you don't have enough, you could have a million, you could have a hundred million dollars right now in assets and still not believe that. And you could eventually manifest loss. So the exciting thing about that is that you can create whatever intention you want for your life. And if you believe it to be true, it will happen. So if you really believe it to be true, Yeshua himself said, but if you have no doubt in your heart that what you say will come to pass, then it will. If you have no doubt in your heart. So you just know that you know that you know. I remember when I was studying the secrets of the miraculous and I, I had a friend who used to do healing miracles regularly and I asked him, what, what makes these miracles happen? At first he kept saying, I don't know, I just do it. But he said, well, I just see it. I know that it's true. And I ignore what I'm seeing in the physical evidence and just tell them that they're healed. And I grab him and I just basically step him into it. I don't even think about what's, not the case. I just focus on what is true. And the truth is in that in the higher realms, they're healed because you can be instantly healed. When you go back to spirit, whatever disabilities you've got, whatever thing going on in you will go with is gone. So it's just knowing that. So, for example, you can brainwash yourself into expecting prosperity, sex, and abundance, but your wealth's always protected. This is one of my favorite because I was always taught the more money you make, the more tax you'll pay. So I trained myself into believing the opposite. And not surprisingly, within a few years, I was making more money and paying less tax. That's a whole different class, which I do with people. But in the energy webinar training we'll be doing, I will be doing a class on this and showing you how you can get yourself into that belief system. Who would like that? To make more money and pay less tax. Hopefully more than one of you, but yeah, Kathy, Fermita. That is actually a secret fear of most people in business, I find. It's a secret fear. They, it actually sabotages. This is, when, I, when I've done workshops with business clients, I've noticed that the vast majority of clients who've had a ceiling in their income, it's because of their subconscious fear they'll pay more tax or they don't want to. Even one of my sons the other day came to me and said to me, look, you know, I'm actually realizing that I could be paying tax in the near future. So how can I deal with this now? And I said, good, I'm glad you're being smart about this. So the point is, is that I just have a belief system. The more money I make, the less tax I'll pay. And it just seems to work out that way. Okay, so in summary, you can transform anything by your energy, anything you want. And what I'm going to do before... I'm going to go on and explain the course offer and what we do for those who want to continue your learning. Just ask if you've got any questions. And those of you who, who, who come who are not interested in hearing about the offer, thanks for coming. I really hope you got good value. For those of you who want to stay on, we'll just spend about a 10-minute period going through and explaining what the next step will be if you would wish to learn. So has anyone got any questions or comments or reflections they'd like to run or they'd like to, to raise? Well, is everyone pretty good, learned, enjoyed it so far? Bronwyn, what was the last slide about clearing blocks, Warren? Um, that one? Oh, that was a code. That was an example of what we can do to clear energy, Bronwyn. Elaine gets all of it? Awesome. Now, you're a good group, everyone, and I can feel that raising the energy has helped as well. So... Anyone or everyone's happy just to go on and just share what you can do for those of you who wish to continue and keep learning? 
Nick, absolutely. We can organise that for you. Ian, thank you. Great for me, though. Elaine experienced a tremendous amount of creating money out of thin air and abundance. Yeah, look, by and large, I mean, the whole money system is an illusion as it is, Elaine. So it's not that hard to do that, to be able to do that when you realise that. Nick, cheers at work today. Yep, not a problem, Nick. Just ask our support team and we can organise it for you. Okay, so I'm trusting you got a lot of great information for me today, right? But if you haven't learned how to read energy before, it can be overwhelming. And you're not always sure what the next step is. Bronwyn asks, do you have any ideas about things that you lose, items like jewellery? Yeah, look, you can, I'll just go back. That's a good question, Bronwyn. I'll go back before I continue that. Um, the short answer is yes. Um, with losing, what I've often done is sometimes I find it easier to tune in, sometimes I don't. But I'll often ask, is it in the car? Is it this? Have I lost it permanently? And usually I get an accurate answer. And sometimes I just can't get a clear answer. Often I actually will. So you can douse on that. And I remember Raymond Grace shared one time when, some, when a ring went missing, he actually asked the question, has it disappeared into another dimension temporarily? And he got a yes. And he said, no matter how much they tried, they couldn't find it. And the ring had actually been on, on a particular bench. And then the next day, unexpectedly, they came there and it was there, just out of the blue, just turned up. So there are weird, unexplainable things that can happen too. Okay, so. Roman, okay. So the question is, how do you learn this? Is it okay to show you a quick and easy way to make this happen for you? Something that can just make it very easy to learn this. Who's interested in actually finding a very quick and straightforward way to learn and master energy reading? And get on top of this and apply it for your finances, your business, your health, and even your local city. Just type a Y. Yep. Great. Adrian, Bronwyn, Ian. Yep. Elaine. Awesome. Great. Yep. Best skill we could ever learn. That's what I found. So a step-by-step -step course on implementing this incredible system yet effective energy reading program into your life. So Yes, so basically, this was a thing I did with Raymond and did with various other people. I've done lots of different courses. Nick as well, Alexi, great. So to do this, um, the great thing with the energy reading program is you'll be able to eliminate any hidden blockages on sabotages preventing you from reading energy accurately to achieve the results you want. So that's the great thing about it. So... You'll be able to freely manifest more money, experience better health, and live the life you've always desired. You can even transform the energy of your city to vastly improve the quality of life for you, your family, friends, and neighbours. And that's the biggest thing I'm doing right now. Because as I said, if I can improve my city's quality of life, it improves mine. And it does. So the course will help you to learn the secret of energy reading, to become prosperous from all the different shamans, teachers, and what I've studied and learned over the years. Clear the source of anxiety or any negative emotion and transform it into better energy, like we just did today, EMFs, anything you want. Become your own medical medium. That's probably one of my favourites. Um, just being able to discover a health issue. If you're truly compatible with someone, whether it's in a business, relationship, whatever, their integrity, even foods for your body right now. I can remember when I was having coffee at one stage, it, kept, it just wasn't working for me. And when I doused it, I kept getting a no not to do it for at least a week. And that was annoying, but I followed it. And then after a week or 10 days, I came back to it and it was fine. So you can do all that with it. You dive more into your intuition to make more quality decisions to manifest a lot more money, clear negative blockages and self-sabotages in the way of flowing prosperous energy, attract the right investments to exponentially increase your investments and bring in residual income. That's been one of my favorites, that one. Repelling bad investment opportunities. Now, this was one that I was getting a lot of them. I kept getting ripped off and scammed in investments. So once I started doing this and, and neutralizing the energy to attract only high quality ones that would be used for the higher good, what you will also notice is that sometimes you will get a hidden message. Like when I first started doing the scrambling, it didn't seem to work, but eventually when I scrambled it and raised the energy, I got a, a message that, that just came to my, my unconscious. And the message just sends to tell me to put more focus into my business for now 
and to get more into investments later on. And then later on, I got to this point where I got a sense of, yep, now it's time. And the message just gave me a really clear sense of what kind of things to go into and what not to do right now. So that's an example. So you do get these hidden intuitive messages. Protect yourself from scammers and tax audits once and for all. And use your energy to protect your wealth from lawsuits, government investigations, even neutralizing speeding fines. So we'll be covering all kinds of fun stuff. That's the plan. And I, I want this to be a lot of fun. So just to quickly show you, the first class will just be the intro class. Then classes two to four in at least one of them, I'm hoping two, but at least one of them, Raymond Grace will be turning up to explore the basics of dowsing. We'll be going through this. Um, the measure the consciousness of any personal situation, business, health, family, partners, and use it to raise your vibration. Um, looking at how to purify water, dark spirits, food blockages, negative energies. We've done this to transform food even that we eat. Um, our advanced dowsing classes, this is where we go into improving the world. Financial matters more. We go a lot more into money, finance, the consciousness of your state, region, how to shift the energy there. This is the part I'm most excited about because this is where I'm seeing that we really are in a lot of trouble as a planet right now and where cities are moving more and more away from doing good by their citizens and moving more towards taking people's freedoms. So this is a big thing. This will not only help your own business and prosperity, but will help your region. I personally think this great reset is a massive threat. Um, when I've done dowsing and checking on that, it keeps telling me this is a really big problem and that many people are going to be caught out in a way they don't expect from that. So this is something where we can really work on this one together. Um, we learn about how to stay aligned with karmic law. You also then start to go into negative energy. So class seven is what's called our negative energy and protection session, where we clear blockages and sabotages and teach you how to do that for yourself. That's the big thing we do. And around governments, around your own life, around depression, around anything of that kind, around money. So you'll be learning all this kind of stuff, realigning your health and energy for your future and finances, everything. And in the final class, before we do the integration class, is about growing cash flow, investment, and residual income. So this is where we actually learn how to manifest money and actually get more insight into opportunities and what's going to work best for you at this time to get the best ones. Um, we will be doing some clearing as well in this class, but by and large, this is going to be more teaching you how to actually activate and call in the wealth. And then finally, we will do a bonus class to help you integrate everything that you've done. Okay, so who's, who likes the sound of that class so far? Who's at least interested in hearing a bit more on that one? Okay, yep, great. Thanks, Paul. Who else? Yep, Lexi, great. Adrian, go on here, Bronwyn, Fiona. Fabulous. So... Elaine, Nick, they've got a great group today, very engaged, everyone. So generally, these are the kind of, every training that I'm doing here, these are the kind of prices that we were charging just for one class, if this is the time, if we're just going to do one class, and you'll see this on our membership site, that's about our standard price for anything like that. Um, Christine, sounds like a great course. Yeah, well, you probably hear my energy too, Christine. I'm really excited about this one, because this is one I can feel can not only transform our own lives, but actually help the planet as well. And right now, I think it needs it. So, a win win. So, you also get unlimited lifetime access to the trainings when you do it as well. So, what I do also is that if you've made up your mind already, some of you who came last week and signed up on the special early launch one, of course, did really well. Today, there's still going to be a good deal for those of you who choose to sign up basically in the next 20 on this webinar. Um, or if you let us know, we can always give a few more hours or something if there's some issue with money. So bonus issues as well. So bonus one is we're going to be giving access to the Curses, Hexes and Spells course to you. So you actually will get access to that. So I'll clear any negative energies or blockages. That's, that's a really good course you've got in our membership site. That's a self-clearing course that you can do. So anytime you feel stuff's going on, you can jump on that course and you can do it. And go through the protocols that we follow. So there's like a three class protocol. So that's 197 on the membership site, you'll see. Um, the other one is Master Dowser. Like I said, this is probably, for me, the best thing about this course. I'm very happy that he's coming on. 
um, to do a session on teaching people. Um, like I said, it's I had to fly there physically and spend a lot of money to go there. His workshop cost, I think, about $1,000 or something like that. It was quite a bit. I'm saying $500 because he's coming on to these one or two classes. Bonus three, those of you who sign up, you'll be able to get a personalized session to help you douse and clear negative energies of one of our top specialists. So you'll actually get a one-on-one -on -one session if you do it today. So this will help you achieve that by clearing as much as time permits. So as well as coming to the course, you'll get a bit of help to set some goals and do that. And the fourth one is we've already got this Awakening Your Manifestation course. Um, that's valued at 497 on the membership site. We'll give you access to that because that will give you another perspective of energy reading. So you'll really walk away with a good set. So these are the things you'd be getting. So 2664 value. Like I said, why is it done this way for fast decision makers? Generally, I find if people act quickly, they get the best benefit from it, number one. Number two, it shows them their, but it shows us, it shows themselves that they're serious, shows us they're serious. I've always been a fast action taker with things like this. I also believe that people who take fast action should be rewarded because very simply, that is how life works. People who procrastinate, who wander, who sit around fluffing around generally don't get much results. So those of you who can decide relatively quickly if it's for you or not, and if it's not for you, there's no problem. Like I said, it's not for everyone, this course. It's really, I'd rather have a small group of eight to 10 people who are really serious about this course and focused than have say 50 people who are not, because that will affect the energy of the group. And you've heard everything that I've just spoken on. I'd rather have 10 really committed people because we'll get a lot done. We'll be seeing healings. I'll guarantee you by week five or six, we'll be seeing some healings. We'll be seeing some miracles. People will be reporting amazing things that have happened in their life financially, in their city, everything. Whereas if we have a lot of people on the group who aren't aligned, it will just be a whole lot harder. So I'd rather, like I said, that's why I chose to make the bar reasonably big because I just would rather have serious people. So in saying that, I do give a risk-free guarantee. And the reason why is I don't like people to think that they're being pressured. So if in any, if, if after you sign up, you just decide that when the time comes, the course is starting, you think, you know what, I've signed up for this, but I just you don't want to do this course, just let us know. Full refund, no questions asked. So that way, if you sign up today and you decide, nah, you know what, I'm not going to do this course. It just does not work for me. Um, I want to get out. You can get out. I don't think I'm going to be much fairer than that. No, there's no strings attached to that, by the way. You just simply let us know and we'll let you out. So that's the investment if you want to do it. Um, $9.97 up front or 40 easy installments of $27 per week. Okay, so who who's interested in finding out more or would like to get the link? Who's thinking that you who's who's basically interested in, in doing this today? All the questions. Okay, yep, Greg, thank you. Adrian's in, awesome. Fiona, great. I know Christine, we won't keep you away. Um, who else is gonna be there? Nick, please send me the link. Awesome. Now, nah, great. Now, it's all the people who have been very involved in the course. I'm very happy about that. Jackie's already registered and in and, and excited. Great, Jackie. Yeah, look, looking forward to seeing you there. I, I just want to see people get extraordinary results. So I'm pretty excited. So, yep, in terms of that, so like I said, just to emphasize again, yep, you have a guarantee. So if you sign up and take action and then change your mind, you can do it. There's no strings attached to that. Our reputation is on the line. The last thing we need is a reputation of, of um, anything other than keeping our word to our clients. So like I said, we will look after people and you've got the choice of the payment plan. I'll just get back to that thing. So that's your choice. 997 up front, all of that. He like, can I get a loan? Um, yeah, we don't give loans, but we do have a payment plan, as, like, as you can see. Um, Nick asks a good question. When is the course date? Yeah, we're starting it next week. Nick, we'll give the exact day um, after this course. We just want to get a bit of an idea of who's signing up and from what, where they're from, mainly Americans or Australian. Uh, and then once we know, we'll be giving a time and a date that it will be doing, but it will be next week. 
So anyone, any other questions from anyone? Any other questions, concerns, uncertainties? Christine will be there. Anyone else who's just got uncertainties about this or just any questions that you're just not quite sure what I'm saying? So what I might quickly do just to finish off, um, feel free. So this is the page here. Um, link is not cl clicking when I hit the 997. Really, Adrian? This is the course. Okay. So is this working, are you saying? So, so I'll click on it and see what happens. This is what I'm getting, um, Adrian. So is that not working for you? How long is the course, please? One day. Okay, Nick, there's eight classes. So generally we do one or two classes a week, depending on what people are, where we're at with the group. But yeah, generally one to two classes a week we'll be doing. So it'll take four to eight weeks. Elaine, I've been manifesting for the past month and I'm blocked. Yeah, probably some negative energies there, that's all. So that's just an example. Um, that's what you should be getting up there and then going through. So Adrian, are you getting that? Okay, will you record the class if you miss it? Absolutely, no, totally, Adrian. So if you can't come to a class because of work or whatever else, it will definitely be recorded. There will be recordings, but I said, we will be also getting feedback from everyone too. So rest assured on that, there will be feedback for everyone. Um, and that's why I said I wanted to choose a time once I knew who was there, because I'm gonna give probably a couple of proposed times. So Nick, is there flexible access to recordings? 100%, um, no problem. You can literally access the recordings at any time, 24-7. Um, you can be up at 3.30 in the morning or 3.30 in the morning and you can watch it. So there's no issue there. Elaine, the condo, flipping the negative energies here. Yeah, look, if you're around people who've got negative energy, it does interfere with you. So um, it's why I am very, um, you know, yeah. It's why, as Raymond taught, who you share energy with is very wise too, because who you share energy with does in fact in, impact your life indirectly. So it's a good, this will be a great course that will hopefully bring a lot more awareness to everyone about energy and how everything's working. So any more questions before we end right now? But it's a good group of people here. Nick, some people are energy angels. Yeah, I would agree. And Nick, lots to study. Yeah, look, this is the time to study. This is the time right now to step up and, you know, take real action. Some are vampires. Okay, so all sort of great, Adrian. Now it's some energy vampires. Oh, look, I agree. The reality is most people aren't even conscious of it, Nick. Like I know myself that I, you know, as an that sometimes we're draining energy from people and don't even realize we're doing it. But if we've got people doing it around us, um, one thing we'll be focusing on in the course is how to identify that more. There's actually a trick that I learned in shamanic school where you can do that. You can actually tune in and you can see if someone's draining energy from you. So, um, there's always a good time for doing all that. So thank you everyone for being here today. That's a risk-free guarantee again. Um, like I said, this option's available for today. It won't be available for tomorrow. Um, although we're still happy to negotiate with you to keep our integrity, what we promised today, you won't be getting all those bonuses. We, if you can't pay today, we probably would give you a couple of them, but not all four of those bonuses. You know, you won't get those. We will still give you the curse, text and spell class, for example, and the awakening and manifestation, but not the other ones. So thank you, Nick. Um, thank you for having. Um, and I really look forward to seeing all of you at the course and who are coming.
and all of you who came otherwise, thank you from my heart for coming and listening to me and go out and use the energy for good. Thanks all.